What's up skate team managers, art directors, skate shop cashiers, and other unemployed folk. Today we're going to learn how to make skate graphics in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go to Illustrator, File New, name it Skate Graphics, something like that. We'll keep that cool R. And yeah, 1500 by 1500 is fine for now. So the first thing that I want is I want a blank, a real picture of a blank skateboard deck that I can mock my graphic onto it. So I'm going to go to Brave. Look up blank skateboard decks. Um, I have wallpaper just to pick a large image. This first white one looks pretty good. So I'm going to save that. And yeah, go back to Illustrator. I'm going to place that blank board that we just got. And go ahead and center it with the align panel. Cool, so the skateboard has a background so we don't want that background on it. We want to cut the board from the background. So name that board. We don't want to lock it. Let's get the pencil. And we want to draw a shape around the skateboard. Um, there are videos on how to use the pencil. I may make one later. I'm not going to get as into it now. But uh, I think a skateboard shape is a good graphic or a shape, good shape to practice on because it's just like kind of two circles on the end of the rectangle. So it does, it is kind of a simple shape to like kind of learn how to use the pencil. Uh, so yeah, now that we have it covered, we don't want it to be wide covering it and we don't want it to be a fill. Let's turn, turn that up a couple of pixels just so we can see it. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, I want to copy this first. So go ahead and copy it. Let's make a new layer called board vector. And hit Command Option Shift V to paste it in place. We just want that for later, so we can turn that off. Okay, so now on the board layer make sure it's unlocked yeah we still have the skateboard with the background and the vector that we just made so highlight them both and hit command 7 and that's gonna make a clipping mask so you can see that the skateboard doesn't have a background on it but we do want a background let's go ahead and make another layer name it BG like one of the hot boys and just pull a rectangle just kind of around your artboard. We want to make it gray. Let's make it a little bit darker gray just so we can see the whiteboard on top of it. Um, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and lock that layer now too. Okay. Now I went back to the board vector. It should be this pink outline that we made. Make sure the other ones are locked so we don't select something we don't want to. And I want the graphic to, I don't want it to extend all the way to the edges like this. So I want it to go a few pixels in so it kind of looks like how a skate graphic is printed. So what I'm going to do is go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. Make sure you can preview it. And yeah, I just want a little sliver that I can see. So I think six, I think six pixels is pretty good. We're going to click OK. We're going to highlight our stroke and change that to blue just so we can see it. And I want you to make sure that only that blue is selected. And we want to Command X. We want to cut it from that layer. Go ahead and lock this layer. And we're going to name this Graphic Vector. And with this layer selected, Command Option Shift V. And yeah, that'll paste it back in place. So yeah, we still have both of our graphics, but they're on separate layers now. So now that we have all the vector work done, we want to actually place a graphic into the image. So you can do that with art you've made, or you can just do it with the image that you find. So I'm going to go back to Brave, and I want to look up just an image of something people will buy. So I'm going to pick weed, you know, weed's pretty cool. Make sure it's still wallpaper, it's just something large. And I kind of like this one. Yeah, this uh this looks like an image that stoners would like 
really like. Looks thoughtful. I'm going to name it Thoughtful Weed. Go back into Illustrator. Again, make sure these layers are locked except your graphic vector layer. I'm going to go File, Place, and we're going to pick Thoughtful Weed. Very cool. Um, we want this to go behind that blue vector that we made, so hit Command, Shift, and left bracket. Now you can see the blue graphic a little bit better. And yeah, now you can manipulate your graphic behind the board until you get something that you kind of want. I think that looks pretty good. So now that I like the look of it, I want just the board shape to have the image inside of it. So I need to make another clipping mask. Highlight both the graphic and the image and just like you did earlier hit command 7 and that's going to cut your graphic into your board. And yeah, now you have a skateboard graphic. Um, you can do, I said again, do this with like graphics that you've made before too. So I'm going to just duplicate this. I'm going to cut out the clipping mask again. That's just command option 7 to release it. I'm going to get rid of that. And I lost my little blue graphic, but it's still there. It just doesn't have any color to it. So I'm going to turn it blue again just so I can see it. Great. So now I pretty much have everything back where I want it. So I'm going to pick a graphic that I made in Illustrator. If you're cool, you know what this is. Again, send it to the back just so you can see the graphic over it and just kind of position it how you want. This already has like a lot of background to it. So I'm gonna let it go. Actually, I want his shoulders to be closer to the edge. That looks cool. So again, I'm gonna highlight them both. Command seven. And you may be like, oh, I can't see like the skateboard holes or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, just select your graphic, go to opacity and multiply it. There you go. You can see, you can see the skateboard holes now, you know. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you can make as many graphics as you want. You can send it to printers. You can make your own skateboard company. You can uh, hire little kids to, to be billboards for you. Just like give them a free shirt or like some bubble gum or something like that. And uh, yeah, um, now that everyone's locked inside to, uh, you know, so they won't get sick, you can make 100 skateboard graphics and be an entrepreneur by next month. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.